guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then hello, welcome, my name's Sorrel, and today I have a Primark haul for you, so, this is basically a spring slash summer haul, there's literally no autumn winter bits left in Primark, well, not any nice ones anyway, at all, literally all bikinis, sunglasses, shorts, skirts, dresses, everything like that, and to be fair, I'm kind of ready for it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already, also give this video a big thumbs up, as it really, really does help me out, and yeah, I'm going to dive into everything I picked up from the Primark, I've actually got two bags because I went on two separate trips, which is kind of annoying because I've rather had like the big bag for the thumbnail, you know, but oh well. <laughs> we're gonna start with this ah uh, this is so so cute these were like so in fashion on trend last summer and clearly they're gonna be again the big balloon puffy sleeves which I absolutely love they have this in a white and polka dot and I'm so so annoyed because I saw it in white when I was just oh my god there's a hair literally on my lipstick I saw it in the white when I was in there before I like went in there to buy stuff and I was gonna get it but I couldn't be asked to go and try it on even though I didn't try this on anyway and I was so gutted because when I went back they only had it in the polka dot and the red. I still absolutely love the red. I think red is quite a nice colour on me anyway. I think it quite suits me. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. You'll probably see it better on a try and try on kit. But can you see that neckline? Probably not. I love the sleeves. I think it's so... Do you know what? I'm really... I'm trying not to say cute. And I was just about to say cute. And I've just said cute twice and I don't want to say it again. So I really do like it. I think it is adorable. So next thing I got is a lemon denim skirt. That was quite a tongue twister quite then. Kind of hard to say. I love it. I saw a similar skirt, or maybe the exact same, in a someone's Primark haul last year, and I wanted it so bad, and I couldn't find it in any Primarks near me. Well, I don't know which ones I looked in, but I couldn't find it in my Primark anyway. And they also have a matching denim jacket for this, which was such a cute color. I didn't see how much the denim jacket was, but I probably reckon it's no more than 15, so you're paying like 25 pounds for a denim cobalt which is insane it's literally crazy imagine this in summer with like some air force and some cute socks although in summer denim skirts can get quite sticky especially when you're in somewhere like rome and it's 34 degrees i do not recommend wearing a denim skirt they're quite a nice length it's not too short and this does go over my bum it fits perfectly and i absolutely love it and the color is literally to die for love a denim skirt i do next is probably one of my best primark finds ever could not believe it when I saw it and I was so shocked that they had these in a size 10. So next I got a wide leg crop jeans. These, you've probably seen them before, they've been in Primark for ages as I said. So they're kind of like cargo up here, so if you don't have anything down there. Because the trousers go, because the pockets, sorry, go quite low here. I feel like if they had a pocket like here, it'd be too close to like the bottom of the trousers and it'd just look really weird. But yeah, they are like cargo style-ish. Guys, three pounds. I don't know if that is focusing on that, but three pounds I paid for these. These are probably one of my best, best finds in Primark ever, like for price. Obviously not one of my favourite items I've ever bought, but like for the price they were, probably one of like my best bargains and finds I've found in Primark. And again, these would look so cute, like black Air Force, maybe like some white shoes and then just like a cute little top and a really nice transitional piece into like spring. I've always loved Primark for their sunglasses and already this year like their sunglass game is up there. So I picked up this little pair of sunglasses, they're kind of like a tortoise, is it? I don't really know what pattern that is. But yeah, tortoise shell. Cat eye sunglasses, I have these in so many colours, they've got a darker pair, like a lemon pair like the same kind of colour as that skirt, like a really really pale yellow colour which I was umming and ahhing between, between, those, between those two and I got these ones because I thought they'd just go over a lot more and they're easier to wear. But yeah, I love these so much. I haven't worn them yet because I'm not like brave enough. I'm not really someone brave enough to just wear sunglasses on like a normal day. Because I just feel like everyone would be looking at me like, why has she got sunglasses on? It's not even sunglasses. If this is just like the first batch of sunglasses they're getting in, I can't wait to see like the rest of the summer sunglasses they get in. I live for Primark sunglasses because thing with sunglasses like you're either going to break them by sitting on them or crushing them in your bag or you're going to lose them leave them somewhere by accident so really me I don't really want to be spending anything more than like three pounds on a pair of sunglasses so I was looking around all like the vests and stuff and all were folded on the tables and I came across this little gem just a button up black ribbed crop top I'm guessing this is one of their basics like along with like the vests and stuff as it was on the folded table they do have similar ones which I actually have um, like a button down one but they're, someone's crashing around downstairs sorry but they're fully around the bottom and um, on the sleeves it's practically exactly the same as the one I got last year just in black and I wanted it in a black so much because it's just a basic that you need in your wardrobe I can't remember what other colours they had it in I think there must have been a white and yeah I'm not really too sure 
but yeah they were on the tables so don't go looking around on the hangers if you're looking for this because they were on the tables from the kids section i picked up this this is so adorable am i the only one that like goes and looks in the kids section because i always look at their bags and like their hair bands and like clips and stuff because they have some really really cute ones and it's cheaper than the adult like section obviously because it's kids i needed a new eye mask because when i went home to london i left mine up here and i was fuming like i was so annoyed so i'm gonna take I bought this one to keep here and I'm taking my old one back to London with me so I don't have to like stress or worry about packing my eye mask because it isn't something that's like on the top of my list to pack. They're so much cheaper in the kids section and like it fits around your head. Oh my god bye. They had so many, had like unicorn ones, panda ones. If you're someone like me who always like wakes up early and struggles to like get back to sleep after they've woken up, honestly purchase an eye mask. Definitely try it if you do struggle sleeping because it will change your life. Also. My jumper's from Primark. I don't know if they still sell it anymore, which is really annoying. The only thing I don't like is the sleeves are so long. Look at that. So sometimes I just like give them a little roll like this. I don't know why they're so long. Maybe because it is men's, but still, that's excessively long. Wow, I didn't realise I got this in that size. Why did I get it in that? Why did I get this in the 12 to 14? I got this little blue polo kind of like, what's this? Not a button. Well, it is not a button. A popper. Yeah, popper, that's the word. Popper, popper up, popper, popper up. I've got this in a size too big. It's so, so baggy, like around my stomach area. So definitely stay true to size or size down. I do like it. And I do like the whole like popper. Because you know, you can have it like undone if you wanted to. Have a bit of cleavage out and whatever. But the only thing is, I do think this colour, like I did try it on. I love the colour, don't get me wrong. Absolutely love it. But it's kind of like that school uniform blue. You know what I mean? If you're from England, you'll know what I mean. Like that primary school blue colour. They did have it in a black and like a chocolatey, orangey brown kind of colour, which I kind of wish I got instead now because it wouldn't have looked as school uniformy as this one did. Too school uniformy for me. So the next thing I got, I actually picked up from the men's section at first, one of their hoodies, but they don't have the drawstrings. So I saw it in the women's. I did want an extra, extra large. To be fair, actually, I tried this on and the extra large is fine. It's actually really, really, really comfy, really nice and slouchy. And it's very, very similar to the pretty little thing on the I saw at first ones. The only thing I don't really like is the silver here and here. I just think it looks like a lot sleeker and nicer when it is just like full black. But yeah, if you're looking for an alternative to a Pretty Little Thing ones, because I know they're 20 quid when you can literally basically get the exact same thing in Primark for £7 on ISO at first for 10 because they always have 50% off or 40% off. If you don't like ordering online or anything, then Primark do basically exactly the same hoodie and for only £7. And they do it in so many colours as well. They've got red. I don't remember what colours they do. But I just remember they had a massive, well not a massive, but like a big table of all of the colours that they do. I don't know if to keep it because obviously this is only £7 and like is this really that deep? I don't know, you guys will have to let me know in the comments whether you think I should keep this or not. Because I can't really, I don't know, I can't make my mind up and I'm literally the most indecisive person ever. I'll put it on and be like, yeah, I'll keep it, whatever. And then I'll be like, nah, I actually don't want it. And then I'll put it on again and be like... Mm, and then I'll be like nah and then I'll be like mm. and then I'll take it back and then I'll go and buy it again because I want it so that's everything I picked up on my trip to Primark let me know in the comments down below what your favourite piece was from this haul and if you follow on Primark if you follow on Primark if you follow Primark on Instagram you're probably so excited as me for their spring to summer spring slash summer stuff literally the sneak peeks they've been given so many nice bags so many nice clothes I literally cannot wait for it all to come into store hopefully the new part will be opening soon in Birmingham and I can just go spend my money I have in there. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you want me to do more hauls. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That means so much to me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!